Australia has the straightest railway path in the world. 
78 kilometers long and it also and it is also recorded as the world's longest and straightest railway very cool number 23 the world wars would not have lasted as long without trains because trains were used as the main way of transporting goods and soldiers this allowed troops to quickly replenish resources if this transport system was not available soldiers would not be able to recover as fast and thus tire out faster and result in a quicker victory or loss number 24 the heaviest train weight ever to be recorded was found to be over 95,000 tons this freight train span a distance of 7.3 kilometers and equally weighed the same amount as 27 full-grown elephants equally weighed the same amount as 27 full-grown elephants okay <laughs> 25 today 40 percent of world's freight cargo is transported via trains and that number continues to grow with each year yeah so i do live in saskatchewan and we're like a really heavily agricultural place Mostly our trains are used to transport grain. So I guess I do know more about trains than I was letting on in the beginning. Anyway, number 26. Largest modern manufact the largest mon modern manufacturers of trains are General Electric or EMD, which stands for electromotive diesel. 27. Fact number 27. 70% of all train journeys in England either start or finish in London. Number 28. By 1840, the United States had 60 different railroads in 26 states, which combined the length of 4,500 4, kilometers. Number 29. Trains are one of the most eco-friendly ways you can travel. commercial steam train Stevenson's rocket managed to reach the speed of 96 kilometers per hour in 1830. Number 31, 31, 31. The word train comes from the old French train, derived from the Latin trahir, meaning to pull or to draw. I butchered that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Number 32. Trains are powered by a locomotive, also known simply as an engine. Number 33, there are two type, common types of a trains, a passenger train and a freight train. A passenger train is used to transport people to and from different locations. A passenger train has one or more locomotives and multiple passenger cars. A passenger train can be a long distance train or a short distance train. A long distance passenger train transports people over long distances across the country. A short distance passenger train transports people over short distances across the metropolitan area. A freight train is used to transport cargo to and from different locations. A freight train has one or more locomotives and multiple freight cars. The more you know. Number 34. Early North American trains had a device attached to the front of the engine called a cow catcher. A cow catcher that would push unwanted obstacles off the track. Yeah, like cows. I just don't know how to express the annoyance of a cow on the road, and the cow on the road won't get off the road. Anyway, number 35. The first underground railway was built in London, England. It opened in 1863, and the trains were powered by steam, which made the underground railway dirty and stinky. Dirty and stinky. Number 36. Electric train systems either power the trains by an overhead cable or from a live rail on the tracks. Number 37. When trains were first built in the United States, some people believed that a woman's internal reproductive organs would fly out when traveling at 50 miles an hour. Let me repeat that one in case you didn't get it. When trains were first built in the United States, some people believed that a woman's internal reproductive organs would fly out when traveling at 50 miles an hour. Like what? <laughs> Number 38. Britain adopted a standardized time system in 1847, but it took nearly 40 more years before the United States joined the club. Joined the club. America still ran on local time, which could vary from town to town and within cities themselves, making scheduling arrival, departure, and connection times nearly impossible. After years of lobbying for standardized time, representatives
Ships from all major U.S. railways met on October 11th, 1883 for what became known as the General Time Convention, which they adopted a proposal that would establish five time zones spanning the country, Eastern, Central, Mountain, Pacific. The plan originally called for a fifth time zone, the Intercontinental, which was instituted several years later and became known as Atlantic Time. At noon on November 18th, the U.S. Naval Observatory sent out a telegraph signal marking 12 p.m. ET, and railway office in cities and towns across the country calibrated their clocks accordingly. However, it wasn't until 18 or 1918 that Standard Time became the official law of the land, when Congress passed legislation recognizing the time zone system and instituting a new daylight savings time, designed to conserve resources for the World War I effort. I find that all very intriguing. I also find it very interesting because I'm in a central time zone. I live in a central time zone, so the time is always the same. I don't ever have to like put my clocks forward or back. And I just, I hate it because my siblings live in other provinces where there is actual daylight savings time. And we always have to be like, are they ahead? Are they below? Like, can I call them? That's central standard time for you. Anyway. Number 39. There are 40,000 bridges and tunnels, 9,000 level crossings, and 9,941 miles, or 16,000 kilometers, of railway tracks in Great Britain's rail network. Number 40. Opened in 1994, the Channel Tunnel carries passengers between the UK and France on a high-speed train railway. Number 41. There is an abandoned subway station under the City Hall in New York that no train stops at, but you can see it in passing if you take the number 6 train. The number 6 train. 42. If someone commits suicide in Japan by jumping onto an oncoming train, the train company can, will sue his or her family for a cleanup fee, loss of income, and negative publicity brought on by the suicide. Number 43. In 1963, four Princeton students forced a local train to stop by parking a car on the tracks. With a gun loaded with the blanks, they got on the train, picked four girls as their dates, and rode away with them on horseback. 44. In 1886, three people were killed and many more were injured in a Texas train company's publicity stunt. They had invited the public to watch two of their trains crash head on onto, into one another at full speed, promising a good show. You know, just because you have an idea doesn't mean it's a good idea and doesn't mean you should act on it. I just feel like that's something they should have kept in the drafts. Anyway, 45. In 1907, a Mexican railroad brakeman named Jesus Garcia saved the entire town of Nacozaria, Sonora, Sonora, by single-handedly driving a damaged and burning train containing dynamite six kilometers away from the town before it finally exploded and killed him. Who needs sorrow when you have Jesus? Number 46. Many ghost trains run on the British Rail Network. These trains, often unadvertised, run extremely rarely at obscure times through bizarre routes, purely to keep the line officially open. Whilst discouraging passenger use to ghost trains, ghost train hunters roam the country searching for them. Very interesting, very interesting. Number 47. In 1993, a 16-year-old Brooklyn teen pretended to be a subway conductor and drove a train for over three hours, safely picking up and discharging passengers at normal station stops along the route before getting caught. Number 48. In 1869, Chinese and Irish laborers working on the Central Pacific Railway managed to lay over 10 miles of tracks in just one day. The accomplishment has not been matched even in modern times. Yeah, I wonder why. Okay. 49. Most train horns are based on musical chords. Common passenger trains found in the U.S. are usually based on major sixth chords, which are not as threatening as most freight trains, which are based on more dissonant, frightening, such as dismin diminished seventh chords. And last but not least, we have fact number 50. Fact number 50. There is a device known as a derailer. It is used to intentionally derail trains that enter into unauthorized areas. Okay, that's all the train facts. I do have so many more fact videos if you 
are.